A lot of you guys wanted a part two to the clown stories, so I figured with all the clown stuff still going on, this would be the best time to do one more of these. Three days ago, I had an encounter with one of those crazy clowns that everyone's hearing about lately. Most people are running into them on the road in the safety of their cars. I, however, had a much more disturbing encounter. I live in Massachusetts. My property is enclosed by trees with a long, winding driveway leading to the road. During the day, I was cutting down a drooping branch from a tree above the entrance to my property. That's when I first saw him. A clown. Or a guy dressed as a clown, I should say, walking down the side of the road and stopping very slowly right at the center of the start of my driveway. He very gradually turned his head to face me, body still facing the road. I had to give him credit, his clown costume was terrifying, the mask looked horror movie status. I chuckled to myself and smiled in his direction. Judging by everyone else's experiences, I was expecting him to start bluff charging me, but he didn't. He just turned his head back to the road and kept walking. I would have said something, but I guess I just didn't care enough. That night I did my usual locking up of the shed outside and shutting off all the lights. When I got inside to start making dinner, I thought I heard something coming from outside. I opened the kitchen window a little more, but all I could hear was the wind and leaves blowing. I shut the window completely now and resumed making the food. I almost had a heart attack when there was a heavy, aggressive knocking coming from that same window I just shut. My whole body immediately went into panic mode. I felt every body part shaking and my heart thumping twice as much than usual. I took the knife I had sitting on the counter and brought myself to look out the window, but it was literally too dark to even see past the glass. Once again, I struggled to sum up the courage to do something I felt needed to be done, which was this time to turn on the patio light and go outside. So I walked over to the back sliding glass door in my kitchen put my finger under the light switch, afraid to flick it, waiting for a good five seconds, and finally did it. The horror I was afraid to experience out there came prematurely before I could even step outside. The patio light exposed the same clown from earlier, standing right outside the sliding glass door, head tilted like a dog staring at me behind the ugly mask. I could have and probably should have opened the door there and then and stabbed the guy, or at least threatened him but it's so easy to think back and say I should have done that. Instead, I simply ran upstairs to the telephone where I called the police. I could hear banging on the heavy glass door downstairs all the way up from my bedroom, and it got worse as the clown started pounding with both hands repeatedly as opposed to the slow and steady knocking he was giving before. It got the worst when the clown started screaming like a psychotic asylum patient over the sounds of the pounding on the door. I felt like I was going to die. Literally every minute that went by that the cops hadn't arrived yet felt like five minutes. The screaming and banging finally came to a stop when I heard a familiar voice outside yelling what the hell are you doing and get the fuck out of here. I looked out the window to see Marv, my neighbor, walking over with a rifle in his hand. When I went outside to greet and thank him, he told me the clown ran off into the woods. The cops arrived briefly after that and took down my description, did a quick five minute sweep of the property, and left. Marv let me crash at his place for the night just in case. We don't play with shit when it comes to our well-being and safety. So yeah, at the time I'm sharing this, that was only three days ago in the midst of all this clown horror. There was this Instagram account made, and it was supposedly made by clowns who threatened to come to my school. Of course it was taken seriously and police were called, even the SWAT team arrived to my school. The time the clowns said they would come was around 11am, so by the time 11 o'clock came around, everyone was freaking out. I on the other hand, along with a couple other friends, knew it was probably fake and wasn't going to happen. I even heard a story where someone saw a clown at the local pool and chased a peer of mine around. I didn't believe it though. But anyways, at around 11.15, I heard the panicked voice of my vice principal come over the loudspeaker and say, We are now going into lockdown. Please shut the doors and lock the windows. I started to get a little freaked out, but kept my cool. We all huddled in the corner of the room out of sight from the door. The normal procedure. 
We had to stay there for an hour and a half, just waiting in silence. The vice principal's voice eventually came back onto the intercom, and he said we were free to go home since it was the end of the day. To say the least, I was relieved. I gathered my things and started walking home. My house was about a mile away from the school, so the walk was about 20 minutes. I jammed my earbuds in about a minute into the walk. I have to walk past a couple strips of forest, which today of all days kind of freaked me out, but I didn't really let it bother me too much. About five minutes into my walk, I was passing the forest when I saw someone wearing very bright colors. I looked away, telling myself it's just in my head, but I looked back and saw it again. It was wearing white and yellow polka dotted baggy pants, except its entire outfit was ripped and dirty. It was wearing a yellow button up top kind of thing. That was all ripped and dirty as well. It had a mask on with red hair puffing out of it. Its head was tilted and it was just standing, staring at me. It started to laugh hysterically and then started running towards me. I screamed and dropped my bag and ran back to the school to find a police officer there. I told him what happened. He cursed under his breath. Him and a bunch of other police officers got in their cars to go drive over there. Truthfully, I'm not sure if the clown got caught or not, but I would sure like to hope that he did. Rumors went around school that a clown did actually walk up to the front door of the school, threatening to come in. I didn't see it, so I don't know for sure, but it's possible that this was the same clown. The police went on a manhunt for him around the area I told them about, but the clown was likely gone and hiding in the woods. That means this clown remains free to scare and terrorize more people, along with the rest. Friday night, October 7th, 2016. It's like 1 in the morning. I'm walking home from my friend's house a little buzzed. He lives almost a mile away. I stop at the T intersection of two roads and the trail that leads into the woods. There's no lights in there, but it's a definite shortcut that I always take during the day. Admittedly, I was wary of going in there simply because I found it creepy at night. I figured I'd save a good 10 minutes cutting through there instead of walking down the curvy roads, so I went for it. Using nothing but the light on my phone, I began to navigate the woods. The only reason going through the woods was quicker was because the roads in my neighborhood wind around a lot and you can't really just find a straight road to cut through in my house's direction. Around 50 yards into the woods, I heard noises coming from up ahead. It sounded like more people. Normally I wouldn't find this too weird. It was a Friday night though, and sometimes kids would go into the woods to smoke after all. But still, with the thought of all this clown stuff going on, especially in my area, I feared for the worst. I covered the light from my phone as I was trying to turn it off, and tiptoed around a big tree to hide. When the sounds got closer, it became obvious that they were footsteps just as I feared. In the back of my mind, I knew the odds of running into clowns in the woods was next to none. I just also wanted to avoid contact with anyone in the woods at this hour. It soon became apparent that there were two people walking by. I tried to remain as quiet as possible, hoping they didn't see the light. These two people weren't talking at all though. I could only hear their shoes hitting the leaves on the trail that is, hitting the leaves up until around where I was standing. Then they stopped. I got that painful feeling in my heart and stomach area that you get whenever something shocking or scary happens. I daringly stuck my head around the tree, and I could see two people standing there in the darkness, and I immediately recognized their bizarre attire. These were two clowns. It didn't feel real. I even imagined this exact scenario playing out in these woods, and here it was happening now. I knew they would have seen the light, that's why they were stopped. They knew I was hiding somewhere. The question was, what were they going to do to me? It was the most tense moment of my life. However, it only lasted maybe 20 seconds. Then I heard the two clowns continue walking down the trail. When they were far enough away, I hopped up and ran for the other side of the woods, not caring how much noise I made. My house was across the street from the woods, so as soon as I made it across, I was basically home. My mom was already asleep by then, so I went around back and unlocked the back door with our secret key. I made a point of locking the door right away and shutting the blinds. I walked over to the living room about to shut those blinds, when I noticed the clowns across the street, 
standing by the edge of the woods, facing my house. I couldn't tell if they were actually staring at me or not, but they were just still like statues, and I'm sure they were trying to scare me. I woke my mom, and she went to go check it out. But just like in any horror movie, the clowns were gone, meaning I was the only one who actually saw them. I tried to go to sleep, and given that I was still buzzed, kind of helped ease me into a sleepy state. In my bed, after facing the wall for a while, I got uncomfortable, so I flipped over to the other side, where I had a view of my whole room. Even though I was tired, I had trouble keeping my eyes closed, simply because I couldn't stop thinking about those clowns. What if they were out there right now? The curiosity was killing me to the point where I wanted to get up and look out my window. The sound of the thud on the window was like the sound of death to my ears. I knew what it was, and I didn't move. I closed my eyes and pretended to be asleep. I ignored it. Still not moving an inch. The thuds were getting more intense, and I feared they would break open the window. I finally took a look at the window, and under the blinds, the section that wasn't blocked, I saw a clown with his head to the side, looking at me laying in my bed. That was all it took for me to break down screaming, running to my mom's room and crying to her that there was a clown outside my window like a baby. She took me very seriously and took the pepper spray she had under the bed, marched over to my bedroom window, and once again, the clown was gone. My mom believed me, of course. She is my mom, after all. She didn't give me some cliched horror movie bullshit like I'm just seeing things or I had too much to drink. No, she really believed me. In fact, she called the cops the next day and reported that there were clowns in the area harassing us. But that wasn't the end of it. Last night, I once again saw a clown standing across the street by the woods again, staring at my house. I still feel sick and paranoid about all of this. However, I'm planning on getting a picture or video of it the next time it happens to prove this is all true.